You mentioned Buddy Guy a few minutes ago. That's a that's a crazy one. Um, I had gotten a call from the studio owner one it one evening, and he says, "Hey, Mike, can you come down early tomorrow morning for a session? I've got a producer from Nashville that wants to come up here and record some guitar." Like, yeah, dude, I'm fine. yeah, let's go. You know, I was looking for work, man, and um, so I go down. I think it's like a nine nine or nine thirty start, which is just crazy, you know. Um, so I I get down there and um, I'm setting the room up, and I call I call this this producer, and I ask him. I says, you know, do you have a hard drive that you're bringing with, or do you need me to set up a session? What do you need me to do? How you know? like prior to you getting here um and and are you bringing your own amps you know what's up and he says oh yeah i've got amps um uh, both of us are about ready to get in a cab right now i got hard drives i got everything just just hold off until i get there all right fine so he gets there and uh and he says he like mutters in our conversation i had heard him say something like buddy and i are getting in a cab right now and the only thing i knew was that we were going to do a guitar Right, and it's this producer from Nashville. But he said, "Buddy," <laughs> like, all right, you don't say "buddy" unless, like, yeah, like your friend, like, right. or like, you know, you're talking about your actual buddy, you know, right. this buddy guy. And um, so I told my assistant at the time I got the phone. I says, "Dude, here we go. <laughs> I think it's Buddy Guy, dude." like really and yeah. he was he was shocked you know he's like he's like oh i like dude just chill out it's cool it's fine <laughs> so anyway buddy guy and, and tom hambridge walked through the door tom hands me this hard drive that says george thoroughgood on it i'm just about shit my pants <laughs> <laughs> and then here comes buddy's tech and his manager and a photographer paul natkin shows up and uh uh, and Paul had gotten me. Now nah, that's a different story. I'll tell you that later. Okay. Um, so uh, Paul's or uh, Buddy's tech comes in with this amp, and he's got some amp I've never heard of, uh, Chicago Blue or something. I don't even know what it's called. Um, and he's, he he uh, plops it down, and I put a microphone in front of it, and I set it up, and I got like a room mic going as well, and I go into the control room, and Buddy's, uh, you know playing around just warming up and and I'm pulling the microphone up and I'm getting a sound and I'm tweaking things and I, I go out and move the mic and you know this whole time I've got Buddy's tech, his manager, the photographer and uh, and Tom Hambridge, the producer all standing in back of me silent and just staring at me. And I'm, I'm kind of like thinking to myself like oh my god like shit like because i'm i'm really trying to get a great sound here this is sure. a funny guy okay funny guy yeah um, and the sound was pretty good i thought and you know i kind of got to the point where i was like well i need some feedback you know and so i kind of turn around and everyone just like gives me this blank stare in silence <laughs> and i'm waiting for somebody to be like hey dude that sounds great you know right. nobody says anything i says well what do you guys think They're like well, it sounds like Buddy. I'm like, oh fuck, let's go. <laughs> All right, you know, it's just it was it was me overthinking things, you know, and getting in my own head, you know, and you know, conjuring up this anxiety for absolutely zero reason, right? But you know, um, I I do it to myself a lot, and I think a lot of people do it to themselves, sure. it's out of the ordinary, right? Um, so anyway, um, you know, we start playing the track back for Buddy and showing him the section that we need him to play over and whatnot and he's he's just not feeling it at all i mean like it was just way out it was like hmm. shit we we got an issue here yeah um and i and i turn and i and i look to tom and he's like hey can you get me some headphones out there and i, I and i can go out there and be with him in the room and i can kind of direct him yeah, but yeah sure so tom goes out there and Tom's counting him into the solo and he's giving him direction, you know, with, you know, hand gestures and when to break down, when to, you know, okay, build it up. And then, and then he's counting him out of the solo too. Right. 
Well, I don't know. We must have done five takes, and Buddy's like watching him, and Tom's doing all this stuff, and Buddy's just like kerplunk, kerplunk, kerplunk. It's just like, and I'm 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 in the control room with with the uh, the tech and, and the manager, and I'm, we're all looking at each other like, what the hell's not going good? <laughs> must have been the sixth take, or I don't know, somewhere around there. Um, Buddy closes his eyes before Tom can count him in. And he just, he comes in at the right time and he just starts wailing. And it was amazing. And his eyes are closed the whole time. And he's picking the guitar up and he's making all these wild sounds and this great solo. And and Tom kind of like looks at me and I'm like, Shh. and he's, he's, I'm like, dude, just let it go. And, uh, and that was the solo. Wow. He had his eyes closed the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. And that was just one of those, uh, those lightning in, in, the, in a bottle type things. Um, and uh, that song was High Heeled Sneakers, I believe is the first song on George's last record. I think it's 2012 uh, Michigan Avenue, South Michigan Avenue. It's the old address of the old chess records. Yeah named the record so this was buddy buddy playing a solo on george thoroughgood's album yep 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 um yeah. then here's here's another interesting thing this one really blew me away is after we were done with that uh tom hands me another hard drive and it just says quinn on it right <laughs> i he's like hey you know we're gonna have buddy play a solo on on this on one of these songs so from a different client that i'm working with like, all right, cool, and put it up, and we have like an extra 20 minutes, so I put it up, and it's this cool, slower blues track, and um, and I like turn around to Tom, like, wow, oh, this is cool, and he's like, dude, pull up the vocal. You're really gonna trip. I pull up the vocal, and it sounds like, it sounds like a little kid singing. It's good, it's really good. And I look at Tom, like, what? He's like, that's who's playing the guitar. And the guitar was like crazy good. Like I had no idea. I mean, was the, some of these licks that, that were coming out of the speakers were really, really great. And Tom says, yeah, this kid's, you know, 10 years old. Um, and uh, Buddy buddy, and he, and he have like kind of like got this thing. And, um, you know, they've been friends for a while. The kid's been jamming with Buddy and but he's going to play a solo on this song. So we do it and whatnot. And, you know, they, the uh, session's over with, and I, uh, I don't know, it must have been a couple months later, and I see this video of this kid, Quinn Sullivan. This is who it is, right? Yeah. You know this kid who it, it yeah. is. I, don't know, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Oh, you should, you should look him up. He's like Buddy Guy's little prodigy right now. He, uh, uh, Quinn's parents brought him to one of Buddy's gig when Quinn was like, seven years old or something right and quinn was playing guitar he's a huge beatles freak he's a huge fan of buddy you know he had this polka dot guitar strap he's this little kid and he went up there and he started jamming with buddy and buddy was like what do we have here you know so since then buddy has taken him under his wing and i think quinn is like he's like 16 now and he's jamming with you know clapton He's jamming with all these guys. Buddy's turned them on to everybody, you know. Um, he did a uh, big jam with him and Clapton and B.B. King years ago. Um, I mean, nuts, dude. If you're not hip to Quinn Solo, you should check him out. Totally. The kid's really, really good. Um, but that was – that. there's a cool little crazy, unexpected session story for you. I had no idea that was happening. When right. I no idea Buddy Guy was coming in the studio that day. And, you know, uh, rightfully so. I think we can have a, a little bit of anxiety, intimidation, whatever, with some of our music heroes, right? So Totally. Yeah, totally normal. <laughs> yes, yes. It happens all too often. Yeah. Did you get to work with George himself, George Thurgood? Nope. nope. No. Just I, mixed. Um, which would have been nice, but, um, but at the same time, uh, Buddy Guy would have been the star in my eyes in that session, if regard. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, it's you had guy. Hendrix there. That's uh, it. Shadow Buddy on that particular day. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome.